This is a 3D scanner by 3D Maker Pro. This is my dog Maya. I want to 3D scan and print Maya. Let's see if we can do that. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and today we're going to be testing out the new Mole 3D Scanner by 3D Maker Pro. Not the biggest fan of the name, I don't know why you would call it Mole, but if it's as good as they say it is, using it should be easy and I will be more than happy with the result to overlook the weird name, so whatever. Now they sent this to me to do a little review on and see the ease of use and all that. I have the program pulled up here. It's super easy to like install and download. You go to the website, you hit support, you hit download, you install the program. You literally plug it into your computer, install the driver, it'll happen automatically. We're in the future. And then you have a 3D scanner and it's pretty basic. You have the easy scan, the table scan, and it has a whole tutorial system. But I just wanna see how quickly and easily this can be used. So we're gonna test this out first on something small, maybe like an anime figure. I got a little, got a little go tanks here. We're going to try to scan something small, make sure it works. And then we're going to look at the 3D scan because if you have a good 3D scan, then you can kind of have a good 3D print. That's pretty easy to do. But then we need to figure out how to get my dog to stay still long enough for me to scan her. So I definitely got to figure out how to use this. Uh, maybe I can scan my head. Oh, that is horrifying. Yeah, we'll figure that out. All right. So this is the scanning program. You can see my face here. This is, this is haunting. Um, Good luck to your nightmares. Uh, yeah, pretty pretty simple and straightforward to use. Uh, easy scan, you can adjust the sensitivity, quality, fine. There's a texture mode, which makes it flash for reasons. I don't, I don't quite, yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, table scan, there's a little turntable thing. We're gonna do that with the figure first. And it gives you, gives you sight range. That's real, this is really handy. Um, some other 3D scanners I've used do not have this little, uh, meter on the side. So it, it's very simple to kind of lock it in. There is a handheld feature. You can get a little add on and hook it up to your phone. That would be super easy. Maya, quiet. Yeah, you, uh, I'm coming for you. Yeah. So that's going to be super easy. So let's scan something small um, and see the quality of this. I put my hand in front of the camera. Yeah, we'll do it. Okay. Okay. I got it lit up. Let's see if we can get this thing scanned. Okay, not too bad. It looks like it got some good areas. It looks like it missed the hand, but we're gonna go ahead and process this. Um, I'm not quite sure what a lot of this means, so we're just gonna hit process and see what happens. Okay, honestly, not bad for my first scan with this thing, like really trying to get in there. Um, it definitely missed some, some spots, but not bad. Like it's with some cleanup and something like Mesh Mixer or Blender, trying to smooth some of these edges out, letting it simplify the model, um, giving it giving it legs, shush, giving it legs, uh, this would actually be printable, uh, not bad. I'm gonna try one more time and really take my time with it, and then we're gonna move to the pupper, and that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a nightmare. Okay, this one came out a little bit better. I'm gonna do one last thing. I wanna to try to scan this Mew back here. I wanna see if I can get better results with a larger object. Just, uh, that's that's half the size of the dog we're gonna be scanning, so I think that's a good little test. Um, the accuracy of it is pretty good. Maybe this isn't the best model to scan because he has the coat kind of underneath him, but it is coming out good. It is easy to use. It's much easier to use than other scanners I've used where you have to be so careful and sensitive, and if you lose the um, direction at all, it'll immediately drop. This one's not bad at all. Um, I can kind of move it around a little bit like I'm coloring, no issues at all. So, so far, so good. Let's scan this Mew. All right, I got Mew set up here. We're gonna see how well we can do this. Hopefully it goes good. Let's find out. Okay, I think we got it. It didn't like the tail, which isn't crazy to assume because it, it, it's such a far distance, but I think we got the body really good. It's processing now. It's find out. So this is the Mew that I 3D printed and was sitting behind me. This, however, is the scan of the Mew scaled up to the proper size, but it did a really good job. Like it did a very, very good job and captured everything perfectly. Obviously there's this big hiccup with the back because I lost the telemetry, but the head is, the head is almost perfect. And that's this 
This is great. This looks so good. And like anything, any new skill I'm learning, I have a lot to learn with this thing, with the 3D scanner, getting the angles right, the lighting, slowing down, having a steady hand, figuring that out. But I mean, not bad. So I am very confident that if Maya cooperates, she's not going to, I can scan her. Let's, let's do this. Wow. Okay. So in case you guys didn't know something about Maya, who I've had to trap in the room, she does not like being held or picked up or touched or anything of the sort. So I'm about to violate my trust with my dog for all of eternity for the greater good. So Maya, we're gonna put this little bandana on you because she also not only doesn't like being held, she hates having stuff wrapped around her head. And no Shibas were harmed in the making of this video. PETA, get out of my inbox. How much are you gonna cooperate with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 she is angry. This is, this is how we're gonna stand. How quickly can we do this? Ah, where's the program? I gotta go back. We gotta go back, Marty. Ah, I didn't start it there. Ah, work faster. Starting it is making this a nightmare. Oh my God. There should just be a cancel button, but there isn't. Why isn't there a cancel button? Why wouldn't you put a cancel button in the UI? Good girl. Good girl, Maya. Good girl. That's a good Sheba. That's a good girl. And we'll call it there because she's about to kill me. Get ready, give it up for Maya. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll take it off, I'll take it off. You're so careful. <laughs> All right. You're such a good girl. <laughs> You're good. You're fine. Uh, now I'll never see her for a few days. Go ahead. <laughs> she ran right out of the room. <laughs> I kind of got it. I kind of got it. She does not look like the same dog. It did not capture her ears at all. Um, oh, her ears are tucked behind with a bandana. Oh yeah. Okay. It's, it's Maya. It, <laughs> it's horrifying. I'm gonna try to clean this up and get this in the mesh mixer so we can print it. It's obviously gonna need to fill some things in, but that's amazing. <laughs> okay, a quick make solid and adjustments and a plain cut later. I now have Maya's face <laughs> in all its horrible glory. I swear I can still see her looking at me in disgust with the eyes and the way it scanned it. So I'm gonna throw this on a printer. Um, I think I'm gonna measure her nose, the, try to get the circumference of her nose and scale it so it's the same size. Cause why not? Let's make this worse. Um, and we'll get this on the printer. Well, there it is on my K1 Max at a higher quality, just peering through the bed. <laughs> I am so happy with my life choices right now. This is amazing. It's gonna take five hours, no supports. Um, this is going to be the best time lapse ever. <laughs> Let's do it. So um, Maya moved out. Uh, she, she packed her kennel and um, hit the road. She's a strong, independent woman who doesn't need no man, but at least she can be remembered with this absolutely adorable 3D scan of her face. Oh God, <laughs> what have I done? You can see it's the exact same look she was giving me. 100% the same look of detest and disgust and the scanner captured it flawlessly. <laughs>
Okay, so at the end of the day, what do I think? Is this a good 3D scanner? Would I recommend this thing? Is it easy to use? And honestly, yes, this is the fourth 3D scanner I've ever used. And this was by far the easiest one to set up, get on my computer and actually start scanning without a bunch of different roadblocks and hurdles. And oh, my hand's too jittery and shaky. Did this come out perfect? No. Did anything I scan come out perfect? No, because this is my first time doing it, but I feel confident using this thing and that's it. it. It doesn't, this isn't scaring me. This isn't sitting here being like, oh, I'm never gonna get good at this. In just three scans, I was able to actually pretty nicely 3D scan my dog's face, an organic thing. So I'm pretty proud of that. Obviously, I still have a lot to learn with this, the different details and settings, but it's a new skill, but I wouldn't be deterred in learning that skill by using this scanner. So if you are interested in this, check the link down below, obviously. The uh, website also has other scanners, so there's more expensive ones, there's a little bit cheaper ones, depending on what you're looking for, but the Mole Scanner, as I have used it up to this point, works pretty well. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything you saw in the video, please leave a comment down below. I do enjoy making these slightly little goofier videos and it is just more fun to do, you know, silly stuff like 3D scan my dog. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel, uh, ring the notification bell, all that fun stuff. I'm gonna get out of here and try to get a photo of Maya next to this horrible, horrible thing. Or maybe I'll hide it in the house somewhere. Ooh, mwah.